Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Bajos Exam Prep. My name is Naveen, and uh, today we will be doing CMAT DI Part Two. So yesterday, in the last session, we looked at some of the DI sets. We saw sets related to bar graph, uh, table based. Today, we are going to look into more varieties. Okay. So welcome, everyone. Without wasting any time, let's start with our first set. So. uh i will need to hide myself okay so here is the first set the following two pie charts depicts the percentage of male and female employees in company a in different departments out of 1500 and 1000 respectively the total number of male and female employees in company a and b is 1500 and 1000 respectively okay so the first pie chart is about uh, uh percentage of male and female employees in company a in different departments right and the second first one is about female the second one is about male so this is about the female employees percentage breakup in hr offshore support staff on site and the next one is about male employees under hr offshore developers support staff right now the total number of male and female employees are 1500 and 1000 so total male employees we have is 1500 which is the base of the second pie chart and the first pie chart the base is 1000 so there are 1000 female employees and there are 1500 male employees so if you talk about hr so in hr the number of male employees is going to be 18 percentage of 1500 and the number of female employees is going to be 21 percentage of 1000 right so we can calculate how many employees work in hr total number of employees is obviously 2500 right 1000 female and 1500 male so having understood the basics of what is given we can move ahead and try to solve the questions so the very first question is this what is the ratio of total number of hr employees to total number of on site developers so total number of hr employees we will have will be 18% of 1500 right which is going to be same as 18 into 15 and total number of female employees is going to be 21 percentage of 1000 which is going to be same as 21 into 10 so total female employees is 210 and total male employees is going to be 180 plus 90 which is 270 so total employees in hr total employees in hr is going to be 480 while the total number of on site developers is 2500 so we need to find out the ratio between these two right uh if we go back yeah so what is the ratio so it's going to be 48 is to 250 it can further simplify and become 24 is to 125 uh we can't further simplify this is it about uh, 480 and uh, 960 to 47 is to 8 on site developers is not mentioned in the question right so does it mean the total number of employees or does it mean okay on site developers is a different category sorry 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 the on site developers is this category i just saw so this one so this one is going to be let's use a different color marker so this is going to be 30% of 1500 which is going to be same as 30 into 15 which is going to give us 450 and if we talk about number of female on site developers this is going to be 27% of 1000 which is going to be 27 into 10 which is going to be 270 so if you talk about the total number of on site developers this is 270 plus 450 which is going to give us 720 
So the ratio is going to be 480 is to 720. So 480 is to 720. They both are in the table of 24. This is 24 into 2. This is 24 into 3. So 2 is to 3. C becomes our answer. So on-site developer is one of the different categories or departments that we have in this company. So we have HR, offshore developers, support staff and on-site developers. Next question. What is the central angle formed by the male support staff among male employees in the pie chart? So if you're talking about the support staff over here, this is 25 percentage. So what will be the angle that it constitutes? So the angle will be 25 percentage of 360 degrees as well. This is nothing but one fourth of 360 degrees, which is going to be nothing but 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is the angle subtended by male employees ka, uh, support staff department, right? Okay, let's go to the next question. What is the average number of employees working as HR and on-site developers? So we have already calculated that. If you remember, there was a total of 480 HR people and uh, on-site developers we had was 720. So the average of these two is going to be 1200 upon two, right? So this is, we need to calculate the average. So this is going to end in 600. So again, C is the answer. Coincidentally, so far only C option has been the answer. Okay, next one. If 20% of male employees and 30% of female employees got promoted to on-site developers from offshore developers, then find the number, total number of on-site developers after the promotions. So here, uh, if we talk about female employees who are on the on-site, right? So since we have already solved it, so female employees on site is 210 and that of male is 270. Right? Okay, so this is current. Now what will happen is 20% of male employees from offshore. So in the case of offshore, how many employees do we have? So in the case of offshore, we have 27% of 1500 male employees, right? We need to calculate 20% of this, these many number of male employees, right? Because these employees are now going to be added to on-site. So 20% of 1500 is going to be 300 and 27% of 300 is going to be 27 into 3, which is going to give us 81. So there are going to be 81 more male employees that will come from offshore. Similarly, if we calculate the number of female uh, offshore developers, so this is 28% of 1000, right? And out of these many female employees, 30% of them will move to now on site. So we need to calculate further 30% of this, right? So it's going to end in 28 into 3. 27 into 3 was 81, so 28 into 3 is going to result in 84. So we are going to have 84 more employees. So initially, if you remember, this sum was 480. The new addition is going to be 165. So the new total number of people are going to be 645. Total on-site developers after the promotion. So four, five, six hundred and forty five. Hold on. This was two hundred and ten. Okay, this was not two seventy. Achha, nahin, it was 270, 18% of 1500 and 21% of 1000, 210 and 270. Male employees, 27, 15 into 2, 30, 27 into 3, 81. Where is the calculation mistake that we are doing here again?
28 into 3 is 84. 84 plus 81 is 165. Twenty percent of mill, not overall, and uh, thirty percent of female, which is not overall. They are added. Right. Okay. So looks like there is some issue, not with the calculation, but rather with the options. Right. Chalo to isko check kar lete, 645 kar lete. 885 looks like first option 885 should have been 645. Right. Okay. Next question is what is the ratio of female and male employees in the support staff? So if we talk about support staff. This is going to be 24% of 1000, which is 240 female employees. And if we talk about support staff, male, it's going to be 25% of 1500, which is going to give us 375 people, 375 male. So what is the ratio of female is to male? So the ratio is going to be 240 is to 375, right? We need female and male ratio. So they both are divisible by 5. So if they are divisible by 5, this is going to give us 48. And the next one is going to give us 75. So 48 is to 75 is what we need. None of the options exist. We can further simplify it with, uh, achha, nahi, 3 se further jayega. 16 into 3 is 48 and 25 into 3 is 75. 16 is to 25. D becomes our answer. Okay, so except for one question, which looks like a typo, it should have been 645. Uh, okay, next set. So this is a table based. Study the given table carefully to answer the following questions. The table given below shows the total number of candidates who appeared in PSBT entrance exam in five different years, 2008 to 2012, right? And the ratio between the number of male candidates to female candidates who appeared in those given years. So we need to divide 54,000 in the ratio 5 is to 4, 65,000 in the ratio 8 is to 5 and so on. So this is a table based question with the concepts based on ratios. So let's look at the first question of this set. The number of female candidates that appeared for the exam in year 2008. So in the year 2008, the number of female candidates is going to be 4 by 9, right? Female is 4 out of 9. So the total female candidates is going to be 4 ninth of 54,000. Is approximately what percentage of total number of candidates that appeared in 2009? In 2009, the total number of candidates that appeared were 65,000. And please understand, we don't have to calculate the exact value. We need to calculate approximate, right? So three zeros will cancel out. This is nine into six is 54. So four into six, this is 24 upon 65, right? So had this been 24 upon 60, this would have been simplified and this would have become um, thoda aur nazdik leke chalte. 64 le lete hain isko hum, theek hai? Had this been 24 upon 64, this will simplify and become 3 upon 8 and 3 upon 8 is 37.5 percent. So 24 upon 65 is actually going to be a little less than 37.5 percent. Option D, this is the closest that we can get. So 37 percent, right? Okay, the next one, what is the average number of male candidates who appeared for the exam in the years 2009 and 2010 together? So we need to calculate number of male and then divide it by two. So if we talk about the number of male candidates in 2009, this is going to be eight by 13 of 65,000. And if we talk about the number of male candidates in the year 2010, that is going to give us three by five of 68,500, right? And we need to calculate the average of this. So this is going to go five times. 
and uh, this one is going to go thirteen. Um, so yeah, five thousand. Like that, because here zeros come on. So one three seven double zero. Total is going to be eight into five thousand, which is forty thousand. Plus three into thirteen thousand seven hundred. Three into thirteen thousand is thirty-nine thousand. Seven hundred into three is twenty-one hundred. So this is going to end in thirty-nine thousand plus two thousand one hundred, which is forty-one thousand one hundred. And uh, we need to divide it by two. So forty thousand to hoga plus eleven hundred ka half, which is five fifty. So this will result in forty thousand five hundred and fifty. So option is going to be B, right? Okay. Next one. What is the difference between the number of male candidates and the number of female candidates that appeared for the exam in the year two thousand and eleven? So from here we can directly say that the difference between male and female here is three out of total five. And the total number of students who appeared are seventy thousand five hundred. So we need to solve this part. So five is going to take care of this, and this is going to be one four one double zero, and fourteen thousand one hundred into three. Fourteen thousand into three is going to be forty two thousand, and hundred into three is going to give us three hundred. Forty two thousand three hundred. Option E. Next one. In which Of the given years, did the maximum number of female candidates appear for the PSBT exam? So, either we will go ahead and calculate each of these five years, or we can do a bit of smart work over here, right? If we look at the year two thousand and eleven, the number of female is one fifth of total, right? So, one fifth of seventy thousand is approximately forty thousand. तो ये तो सबसे कम होने वाला है इफ आई लुक एट 2010 दिस इज गोइंग टू बी टू फिफ्थ टू फिफ्थ मतलब 40 परसेंट राइट सो 40 परसेंट ऑफ सिक्सटी एट इज गोइंग टू बी अराउंड 40 परसेंट तो 10 परसेंट इज 6850, 20 ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज गोइंग टू बी थर्टीन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी के आसपास अप्रोक्सीमेट In two thousand and twelve, it's going to be five by twelve of seventy-two thousand. Now, this is going to be approximately thirty thousand, because two twelve and seventy-two they will cancel out each other and we'll be left with six. Six into five करना है मैं. Thirty thousand in order to reach two thousand and nine में करीब करीब fifty percent female होनी चाहिए. But five is to five upon thirteen is not fifty percent. Similarly, in two thousand and eight. Females, they are not even fifty percent, isn't it? If females are not fifty percent, so, who fifty-four thousand? Because fifty percent is even less than thirty thousand. So, who fifty percent? So, होता तब भी thirty thousand नहीं बनता. Females are already less than fifty percent of total number of employees. So, it's not going to be. It's not employees, candidates. So, who anyways thirty thousand? So, नहीं पहुंच रहा. So, the largest we can see is going to be two thousand and twelve. Option D. This is the year where we will find it maximum. Hi, Otam. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. I saw your text. I I believe I replied. Well, good luck for getting into Tapme. It's a very good brand, and start studying right away because in the college, the first few months you will not get enough time. There are so many things to do. So, अभी घर पे बैठ के मोटे हो जाओ वहाँ खाना पीने के दिक्कत होगी. जितना खाना है जितना सोना है अभी कर लो फर्स्ट टू मंथ्स थ्री मंथ्स वेयर विल इट गो कोई आइडिया नहीं है एंड द फाइट इज नॉट येट ओवर होता ओके यू आर यू यू विल हैव टू फाइट मोर बिकॉज यू हैव टू बी अमोंग द टॉप टेन ट्वेंटी स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द बैच तभी प्लेसमेंट्स और वो सारी चीजें जो आप पढ़ते हो ना वो तभी रियालिटी में कन्वर्ट होगा नॉर्मली वॉट है स्टूडेंट्स लाइक एमबीए कॉलेज चले गए लाइफ बन गए नहीं नहीं लाइफ बनी नहीं बिगड़ भी सकती है अभी भी यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल यू हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट योर जीपीए इज ऑलवेज गुड बिकॉज कंपनीज व्हेन दे आस्क फॉर प्लेसमेंट्स दे प्रेफर जस्ट लाइक कॉलेजेस कि जो टॉप के स्टूडेंट्स हैं यार उनको बुलाओ 
है ना इवन दो एवरीबडी इज गिवेन अ चांस बट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन किस तरह के प्रोफाइल पे आ रहे हैं कंपनी अच्छे प्रोफाइल के लिए अच्छे स्टूडेंट्स ढूंढती है ठीक है एंड ऑल्सो मेक श्योर दैट यू पार्टिसिपेट इन एज मेनी एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एंड को करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज एज पॉसिबल कहीं पे कोई फेस्ट हो रहा है कहीं पे कोई बिजनेस आइडियाज के क्विजेज एंड चैलेंजेस हो रहे हैं मेक श्योर दैट यू अटेंड ईच वन ऑफ देम वेदर यू विन और नॉट इज नॉट योर कंसर्न आई मीन दैट शुड नॉट बी योर कंसर्न योर कंसर्न शुड बी टू पार्टिसिपेट जितना ज्यादा हो सके ठीक है रेज्यूमे अभी कंप्लीट नहीं हुआ है रेज्यूमे अभी कंप्लीट करना है वेल वंस अगेन कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन नेक्स्ट द नंबर ऑफ मेल कैंडिडेट्स हु अपियर फॉर पीएसबीटी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इन द ईयर 2010 सो मेल कैंडिडेट्स सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री फिफ्थ ऑफ सिक्सटी इज वॉट परसेंटेज मोर और लेस देन द नंबर ऑफ फीमेल कैंडिडेट्स हु अपियर फॉर पीएसबीटी एंट्रेंस टेस्ट इन द ईयर टू तो ये वन फिफ्थ ऑफ सेवेंटी थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड हो जाएगा है ना सो इफ वी सी दिस तो चीजें क्या क्या कैंसिल होंगी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू जीरो विल गो अवे दिस फाइव विल गो अवे सो वी विल हैव थ्री इंटू सिक्स एटी फाइव विच इज गोइंग टू गिव अस सिक्सटी इंटू थ्री इज वन एटी एटी फाइव एटी इंटू थ्री इज टू फोर्टी so 180 1800 and uh, 240 and 15 so acha isko aur simplify kar lete na they are further divisible by 5 right so 685 and 705 so this is going to go by 5 times 141 times and this is going to go 137 times now 137 and 141 um they are not divisible by 3 they are obviously not divisible by 2 or 5 they are not divisible by 7 they are not divisible by 11 they are not divisible by 13 to hame ab approximate kuch karna padega now 3 into 137 3 into 100 is 300 37 into 3 is 111 so this is going to be 411 upon 141 थ्री फिफ्थ वन फिफ्थ सो कितना परसेंटेज ज्यादा है ये तो मोर देन हंड्रेड परसेंटेज ज्यादा है दिस इज लाइक थ्री हंड्रेड परसेंटेज टू हंड्रेड परसेंटेज मोर राइट सो डेफिनेटली आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी नन ऑफ दी अबाउट ओके नेक्स्ट सेट रीड द गिवन इंफॉर्मेशन केयरफुली एंड आंसर द क्वेश्चन दैट फॉलो द पाई चार्ट ओके लेट मी अनहाइड माई सेल्फ The pie chart given below shows the percentage distribution of the number of students who have attended online classes in a school on six different days, Monday to Saturday. The total number of students who attended online classes on the five days together is twenty-five hundred. So let's uh, look at the pie chart that we are talking about here. Okay. So this is the pie chart. So the number of students who attended online is twenty five hundred. So total twenty five hundred. As in the base of the pie chart is twenty five hundred, and it shows the percentage distribution of the number of students who have attended classes on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday up to Saturday. So six days of a particular week. On Monday, only twelve percent of total students have attended. Fifteen percent of total students have attended, and this continues. ठीक है in total students मतलब out of these total students who attended the Online classes. Let's look at what kind of questions are asked. So the first one is, if sixteen percent of the students who attended online classes on Monday are from class nine, and twenty four percent of the students who attended online classes on Thursday are from class nine, what is the total number of students who attended online classes from class nine on Monday and Thursday together? So we need to calculate both of that. You know. So if you talk about Monday, Monday में अभी फिलहाल 12 percent of 2500 total students हैं. Out of these many students, 16 percent of them are from standard nine. So what is this value going to be? Now I'm going to ignore this percentage with these two zeros. 25 into 16, right? This is 400. What is 12 percent of 400? Now 400 के दो zeros will take care of these two percentages. 
All I am left with is 12 into 4, which is 48. Next, let's go to Thursday now. Okay, Monday ka ho gaya. Ab Thursday ko chalte. So on Thursday, we have a total of 18 percent of 2500 students. Out of these many students, 24 percent are from standard um, nine, right? So first of all, I'll take care of these two zeros with two zeros. Uh, sorry, percentage with two zeros of 2500. I'm left with 25 into 24. 25 into 400 hota. So this this changes to 600. Now 18 percent of 600 may percentage will take care of the two zeros of 600. 18 into 6 is what I am left with. So this is going to end in 108. So what is the total number of students here from class 9 out of these two days? 156. Okay, the next one. What is the difference between the average number of students who attended online classes on Tuesday and Saturday together? So Tuesday and Saturday. So Tuesday and Saturday. So green and orange wale ka sum. So if we take this sum, this is going to be nothing but 26%. 11 plus 15, 26% of 2500. Yeh inka hai. And who attended on Monday and Friday? So Monday is this blue one and Friday is this light blue one. So in total kitna hoga? So the total will be calculated just the way we calculated for uh, Tuesday and Saturday. 12% plus 24% is 36% of 2500 or iska average nikalna. So don't calculate. You can take out 2500 common outside. All you have to do is calculate the average of 26% and 36% which is going to end in Six, 31 26 or 36 average 31 so 31 percentage of 2500 is what we need to calculate 31 into 25 karna in other words Achha, hume difference nikalna hai. sorry 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 difference so difference is 10 percent or ye ho jayega 5. Thik hai? So we need to calculate the difference of the average. Average we will be dividing 2 anyways. And difference to rahe gai. So when you are subtracting and then calculating the average or whether you calculate the average and then subtract, it doesn't matter as long as you have equal number of values. Hai na? So I have subtract kara, fir average nikala. Matlab divide by 2 kara. So 5% of 2500 percentage will go away. 5 into 25 is what I am I'm going to be left with, which will result in 125. I knew there was something off because initially 31% of 2500 is going to be in hundreds. I did not see any option in 600, 700s. So I was like, Kusto gar bada gaya. Right? Uh, okay, so now can we divide by 3? The previous question? Previous question me kiski baat kar rahe ho? Are you talking about this? I took 2011 ka data. Oh, right. I took 2011 ka data. Thanks for pointing that out. So, it is actually 2010 ka mail. 2010 ka mail was 3 5th of 68,500. And 2012 ki female hai, which is going to be 5 12th of 72,000. So, two zeros, they vanish. Uh, this 12 will take care of this and this changes to 12 into 60 is this. 5 will take care of this and if I remember right, this was 137. Uh, this 3 will further take care of this. This is going to be 20. So this is going to be 137 upon 5 into 20. That is 100. Which is nothing but 37 percentage more. Okay. B is supposed to be the answer. So the calculation was relatively easier. My pehle jo kar raha tha. So. Sab kat chat ke 5 or 20 bacha denominator mein. Or numerator mein keval 137. Right. Thanks for pointing that out. Another thing, another was counted, counted divided by 3. 
सोनाली विच क्वेश्चन डू यू वॉन्ट मी टू डिवाइड बाई थ्री आई डोंट सी एनी वन विथ थ्री इधर भी नहीं करना था इधर भी नहीं करना था ओके लेट मी नो इन दैट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ द रेशियो ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज टू गर्ल्स हु अटेंडेड ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑन वेडनेसडे सो वेडनेसडे इज गोइंग टू बी दिस ग्रे कलर राइट इज थ्री इज टू टू एंड द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज टू गर्ल्स हु अटेंडेड ऑनलाइन क्लासेज ऑन फ्राइडे इज टू इज टू वन सो फ्राइडे इज गोइंग टू बी दिस लाइट ब्लू वॉट इज दिस सम ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हु अटेंडेड ऑनलाइन क्लासेज ऑन वेडनेसडे एंड फ्राइडे so we don't have to calculate any average or coach hame add karna hai so if we talk about uh, wednesday may how many boys do we have so we we are going to have three out of five boys on wednesday right out of how many students 20% of 2500 so these many boys we have on wednesday and how many boys are we going to have on friday so friday may we are going to have two out of three boys and how many total students do we have who attended classes online on friday it's going to be 24% of 2500 so we need to add these two values so if we pay attention percentage will take care of these two zeros dono taraf right and the next calculation is going to be um 24 में से 425 के साथ दैट इज जीरो जीरो एंड सिक्स में से थ्री कैंसिल हो जाएगा सो विल लेफ्ट विथ टू इंटू फोर एट फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव इज टू जीरो एंड टू इंटू टू इज फोर सो वी विल हैव फोर हंड्रेड फ्राइडे में टोटल बॉयज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ बॉयज ऑन वेडनेसडे सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी फोर टाइम्स फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव इज हंड्रेड सो दिस इज थ्री हंड्रेड टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स सॉरी नॉट स्टूडेंट्स बॉयज who attended classes online on wednesday and friday is 700 okay uh, next one what is the ratio of the number of students who attended online class on tuesday and friday together and to those who attended online classes on monday and thursday together yahan pe kya karna hai we simply have to add the percentages or the numbers that we see right so we have got tuesday and friday so tuesday is orange and friday is blue what is the sum 24 plus 15 that is 39 is 2 uh we have uh, monday and thursday so monday is this dark blue and thursday is this yellow 12 plus 18 that is 30 so 39 is to 30 karne ka hai which when simplify will become 13 is to 10 see Why did I do this? Because they they all have the same basis, no? Base अगर same है तो while calculating percentage or ratio, you can ignore the basis. Basics of pie chart. Okay, the next one. The number of students who attended online class on Monday and Tuesday together. So we have got Monday as dark blue, Tuesday as orange. Is what percentage or how much percentage more than the number of students who attended online classes on Friday? रिमेंबर बेसिस सेम है तो आपको केवल परसेंटेजेस ऐड करके सॉल्व करना है सो दिस इज गोइंग टू गिव अस 12 प्लस 15 दिस इज 27 और अपना ये है मंडे प्लस ट्यूसडे एंड फ्राइडे को अपने पास है ओनली 24 सो व्हाट परसेंटेज मोर इज दिस कैन वी से दिस इज थ्री आउट ऑफ 24 मोर व्हिच इज वन बाय एट मोर व्हिच इज ट्वेल्व परसेंटेज मोर नन ऑफ दीज Why are we not going to take that twelve percent as D option? Because in none, in nowhere in the question they use the word approximate, and we do have an option which says none of these, right? So the base was not required. What about in this example? Was the base required? Yes, because we were not calculating this ratio or the uh, or the fraction here. We were adding the magnitudes. So twenty five hundred chahiye tha idhar. What about the question before that? We needed that twenty five hundred because we were working on magnitude. What about the question before that? We needed the base twenty five hundred. उसके बिना ये solve नहीं होगा, है ना? So last two questions, the base was irrelevant. So everybody, please make sure that you like the video.
and if you guys haven't subscribed make sure that you subscribe and uh, sonali and rano i hope you guys since i i am paying attention right so since you guys are attending our app sessions and youtube sessions regularly i hope you are getting a little bit of confidence to how to solve sets and also you are able to see different varieties of sets right kyunki main khud ek hafte mein nahi bhi to youtube and app mila ke um somewhere around 25 to 30 sets solve kar leta hu which is like if you attend the sessions you along with me are able to understand ki ye 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 karna right so it's a, it's all about uh, as many varieties as you solve or you watch somebody solve the more you learn so i hope these all sessions are helping you out okay so everybody please meet our cat 2022 toppers vinayak sarojit smart vidhi and puval these all our these all are our classroom online uh, program students uh, online classroom not offline classroom these all have these all students have uh, scored more than 99 percentile and there are ten, tons and tons of more hundreds man okay who have got calls from very decent colleges and very at, from very good uh, you know the kind of stream or specialization that they wanted so if you want to be a part of such a group you can join our um, a new batch that is going to be there very soon which it's going to be launched very soon the batch is called comprehensive program we provide you all of these we provide you a tablet with videos there you get more than 300 uh, recorded lectures which are very engaging you get more than 135 live sessions you get more than 75 mock tests for cat as well as non cat you get more than 10000 practice questions you are given four hard copy books and more than 5 years of previous year questions you are given more than 15 power pack sessions and in order to join that you can attempt our scholarship test on 15th of april at 7 pm okay for that you need to register for this the link to register is given in the chat and in the description below we have provided uh, scholarships for more than 1 crores to more than 27000 students so far so make sure that you uh, write this scholarship test on 22nd of april at 7 pm mr vikrant is going to take a session uh, how to ace vrc for cat 2023 the seats are limited so make sure that you attend this session you have to register for this as well and uh, from 12th of april we have started 100 most expected cmat 2023 questions so make sure that you subscribe for this just like today's session we will have more sessions every day we are going to have these okay this was our di second part we are going to have more parts of uh, di sessions and you can download our app and uh, you can attempt section wise quiz on it so these quizzes help you uh, boost your confidence level and uh, your knowledge about the concepts and the theory related to every topic okay so make sure that you download the app it's all free you can start right giving the quizzes any time that you feel like from 6th of april we are also, we have also started 500 most expected cat question so cat ka bhi uh, chal raha hai is saal ka theek hai make sure that you subscribe this channel and press the bell notification icon so that whenever there is going to be a session uploaded or a session is going live you are notified and you can just watch if uh, you know it is something of your benefit you can watch it improve your knowledge about the sections and the subjects thank you everyone thank you for joining make sure that you like this video you can uh, subscribe to our youtube channel you can like our facebook page you can follow us on instagram you can join our telegram uh, channel and you should definitely download our app okay the link to downloading the app is given in the description as well thank you i will see you guys very very soon we'll be continuing with our di series of cmat 2023 until then take care